Alright, ready? Rolling. Oh, we're going. We're on. We're live. We're live. We're, we're live. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Chaz Wins. I'm your host, Chaz Burke, and this is episode 14 of Chaz Wins. And today we have a very special guest. All of my guests are special, but this one has by far traveled the furthest so far. <laughs> All the way live from Los Angeles, California, via yes. Atlanta, Georgia, via Pittsburgh, PA. A lot of flights. A lot of flights. We have Mrs. Jesse Cordell. A lot of jet lag. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> so tell us, Jesse, you're an, you're an aspiring actor. Mm -hmm. Or is mm -hmm. it actor or actress? Give me the official, yeah. you know, because I heard both ways, you know. It doesn't matter. Some people are picky about it, but um, I be acting. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she be acting. I be acting. Uh, and also uh, performing, a, a, my understanding, you're, you have a background in theater? Yes, singing? theater, um, choir. So my major in college was music theater because okay. I wanted to do Broadway. Awesome. Um, but then like COVID, COVID came in and was like, no. So now I'm in LA and I'm going to do film, but like Broadway. Like, I mean, <laughs> if you want me, I will come to you. See that? See that this is, we're reaching out to thousands and thousands of people right now. It may not seem like it because we're down here in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to tell. Well, they well they already know. I already tell them because we blue. yeah we start from the bottom and then when we're here we're already right. here. Yeah. So, but acting. Uh, yeah, the COVID has really I said the COVID. You know, that's how old people talk. But like the, the COVID. Right, or you could call it Patricia Panorama, what? Panasonic, oh. um, Peter Pan. Is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's something different. See, that West Coast knowledge is already, she's transmuting that over here to us. So you can put us down with that. But it, it has changed everything for us. So mm -hmm. how we do everything and how we go about a day-to-day -day life. It's hard to believe it's been a whole year since mm -hmm. this thing started. But yeah. yeah, and we're still here. So how is that other than putting down, um, slowing down your, your aspirations? What have you done to keep yourself like fresh uh, and ready? So I take a lot of voice lessons um, because it's just easier for me to do like warm ups. Um, I had a voice teacher at one point, um, so I just do like a lot of singing, a lot of singing, a lot of I'm um, learning how to play the guitar and nice. play the piano again. So it's just a lot of me time, self discovery, and um, learning photography. Uh. Did my own headshots. Okay. Some of them yeah. aren't that great. Some yeah, of them are her, magical. Her, her headshots are amazing. She has her, her Instagram has the most amazing lighting I've ever seen. I tell you all the time. Like I had to come out and find out your secret because <laughs> it's always it's like all the spectrum of the rainbow mm -hmm. and it's just perfectly lit. So Thank you're you. doing very well. I uh, applaud you with that. Uh, especially during this time to stay not only just to stay relevant but to stay sharp. I keep mm -hmm. telling people that this is going to be a gold rush coming out of this and people were like reinventing themselves so mm -hmm. that's what I try to do and pick up stuff along the way yeah. and, 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 you, know, you gotta we'll figure out what your niche is like you know what what side hustle you want to do yeah yeah we're side hustle so I you know we got a lot but uh, the singing part uh, I've heard you saying again on your social media it's pretty dope um, you have a really really like nicely pitched voice I mean it's just like that thank if, you. if there's a music box your voice will be inside of it oh you know? thank you <laughs> And uh, what else do you do uh, social media as far as, like, can I do some tutorials with makeup and stuff like that? She does everything. Um, I attempted to do the makeup tutorials, um, but um, I'm not that consistent with it. <laughs> she could have fooled me. Like, you could do such Thank a Gladys' you. makeup, maybe. Thank you. I, will, I, will, I am a MUA of Instagram. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes, I have, I have a page, but I don't go on there enough. But yeah. yes. What is your page like? What would you want um, people to know how to find you? So my main page with like all the acting, all the singing, all the photos is Jesse underscore Cordell and it's Jesse I E. Um and Not like juicy. Well no, some but, people spell Jesse with a Y and yeah. I. So Okay. Um and then if you want to like see my makeup like every so often when I feel a little creative, it's uh beat by Cordell. Not beats by Dre. Beat not by no, no, it's not beat by Cordell. It's beauty by Cordell. Ah, okay, there you go. See, yeah, just we'll, kidding. No, we'll put, we'll put that on it. Uh, that's what I like to do. Just try to push people out there, and you know, because uh, 
people are always asking to email, hey, what about this, what about that? So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, it's just a great opportunity. This network here on Ryan City TV, uh, again, I'm always grateful to have this opportunity. So, I want to be able to pay that forward by anybody who wants to come on and hang out with me for a little bit mm -hmm. uh, to get your message out there to the universe. Mm -hmm. yeah, always, always. But, um, and also, uh, anything on Facebook that you do as far as, like I said, where people can reach you all the way around? What is, is Instagram uh, the best way to get in touch with you? Instagram is honestly the best way. My Facebook is just memes that I think are funny. Yeah. That's, that's it. <laughs> I'm the same way. I think my memes are funny too, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, your memes are funny though. You, know, you, you do. She cracks me up for real, honestly though. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely. Well, I, I thank you. I, I mean, I try. Uh, you know, my, my corny dad jokes that you know, my kids, some of them laugh. Sometimes corny ja dad jokes are hilarious. You just have to find the right one. And find the right kids? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so what, what I'll do is I'll, you know, put one of your uh, clips up uh, shortly so the viewers can check it out. And okay. I think that it's pretty dope. Uh, by the way, full disclosure, uh, Jesse is actually my sister-in-law, you know, soon to be sister-in-law official. So, you know. Um, she didn't come all the way here just for us. She was on family business. So, uh, but we appreciate her stopping in, and uh, hopefully, we're gonna be hearing more about her out there, in, out in the the, uh, the big city. I almost said the Big Apple. The what big is apple. it? What is it? The uh, I mean, call? he could be speaking it. You're speaking it into existence. Yeah, That's what yeah. We're the Big yes. Apple. Well, you know, first huh. LA, then New York. There you go. Both sides. We're on mm -hmm. East Coast, West Coast. We're gonna be like bring them together right here. I'm Universal. On the Chance Wind Show. That's where you bring it all together. I think that's a wrap. Okay. <laughs> Do you think the poultry dozen you slew scares us? These hills swarm with our scouts, and you think your pathetic wall will do anything except fall like a heap of dry leaves to the face? You will pay for your barbarism. And you will not be slaves. Your women will be slaves. Your sons, your daughters, your elders will be slaves, but not you, no. By noon this day, you will be dead men. Our arrows will blot out the sun. So, uh, welcome once again back to Chaz Wins. Um, I, for those of you who don't know me, I, I used to be on the time slot on um, Thursdays and Sundays at 12 noon, but we were pushed up to this prime time spot, and I'm ever so grateful to be here on Grind City TV. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to continue to bring you foolishness, laughs, and hopefully entertainment sometimes. Um, guess when I can get them, when they're able to come on. Uh, I want to thank Jesse Cordell for coming on and spending a little time with us, and I hope you guys will follow her on her Instagram. Uh, we will post her information below because uh, that's important. That's what it's all about is like giving people the opportunity to shine. So I uh, hopefully that we can make that happen more. You know, a spotlight, a spotlight was pointed at me and I want to be able to point that back at other folks. So it's all about reciprocation. You know what I mean? That's like when we uh, share the reciprocity. That means you help me, I help you. And it just all comes back three circle. That's what I try to do on a regular, put good universe, universal energy out there. So. Uh, we can all agree that the world needs more of that. I know what the world doesn't need more of. <laughs> is this craziness right here? Look at this. This is like they're doing too much. I know this is a terrible segue, but this is Frosted Frikes combined with Fruit Loops, y'all. Uh, and I only bring this up now because my son had some of this this morning. And let me tell you something. The first ingredient is just like, it ain't even sugar. It's like pure cane sugar. It's like straight up cane sugar, sucrose, monolose, dextrose, and all kind of other oses that are just basically raw sugar. And he ate a bottle of this this morning. He had a big old bowl of it, and I just washed him, and he just, it just went into a, a sugar, a sugar spasm right away, and he was just running around the house all day. Um, this stuff will kill a diabetic. I ate some of this, and that was the opposite. It put me into a diabetic shock, and um, I just, you know, fruit loops. And Frosted Flakes, they're doing too much. So, you know, go back to the old school breakfasts like when we was growing up. We didn't, I mean, we had sugar cereal, but we didn't eat all that. We had like the, the Quaker Oats, the 
whole oats, but the oatmeal when you had to boil the water for like 15 minutes, put a little pinch of salt, then you put your uh, oats in there and you boil them down and you drain them and you let them cool off for about two days because they were too hot. And that's how we went to school with a bowl full of burning hot. It's a true story. <laughs> so you had that sitting in your stomach and it kept you going all day long. So that's what your parents need to do today. Give your kids a hot bowl of oatmeal and some uh, some butter toast. Yeah, that'll get them good. But um, now I just wanted to uh, thank everyone for tuning in. You know, like I said, we, we, we try to bring you some entertainment that distracts you from the regular stuff that's going on in life every day. Uh, and we're able to do that by... You guys just checking us out, letting us know what's going on. So, once again, I, I wanted to introduce myself to this new time slot. I uh, hope you guys will continue to watch. And for those of you who watched me before, thanks for coming back and following me. So, we're going to try to always be dope, the dopest we can be. Uh, and you guys make that happen. We'll be back in two and two. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is Sister Gladys coming to you with a, with a very special, very special, special Mother's Day greetings to all you mothers out there. Now, some of you men's is it's mothers too. I'm just, it's a different kind of mother, but I don't mean that Saint your day. Father's Day didn't, did it come already? No, it's coming. So, but let's shout out to all the mothers out there who, who, uh, who just love the little children's. And I, I just want you all to enjoy your day, enjoy your dinner at the five fancy restaurants that your family's going to take you to. You know, me, such Gladys, I like to go to, uh, uh, what's that, Buffet, King Country Buffet? Or, or that Golden Corral, that's, <laughs> Sister Gladys loves to go there. Them honey bittermint biscuits, what is so sweet and delicious? Mm -mm -mm. You know, Reverend Johnson took me there one time. Just one time. We ain't never been back. Because I ate up all the biscuits. But anyway, I just want to say, if you want to get your somebody special, your special mother, sister, grandmother, or something, get them one of them pyramids on those transmutation, what are those things, queen of somebody? They make nice gifts. They make nice gifts, they do. So, yeah, go and get you one of them, and uh, just happy Mother's Day. And everybody, enjoy yourselves. All right, Sister Glass got to go now. I got to soak my bunions. Hey, folks, just like anything else in life, it takes money to make things happen around here. Since you know this is an independent show, we rely on uh, we open donations so, uh, and sponsorships. One of our uh, premier sponsors is Queen of Coma Designs, who specialize in handmade products that promote peace, spirituality, and healing of the soul. Uh, you can visit Queen Acoma Designs on Etsy, Etsy.com. It's Queen Acoma, Etsy.com. Very easy to find. Uh, so here we have the Princess Goddess Oye, and here is the Queen Acoma Goddess Oye. These are organite pyramids that are handmade with essential uh, elements of the earth, copper, and mixed with resin and gemstones and all that stuff that helps transmute negative energy in your surroundings and it puts out positive vibes so you can get your soul right get your soul together and that's what we're all about here making your soul glow with queen of coma As you can see, there's precipitation in today's forecast, so my prognostication is going to be quite simple. It's raining, y'all. It's that simple. Here it is in May, and it might snow tomorrow. Uh, I know that this weather is all messed up, but I'm pretty sure it got something to do with global warming. That's why I don't like to be out here in the weather no more. I did have a desk inside the studio, but they keep on throwing me out. Uh, so it's a little issue with my contract where I'm supposed to have Don Lemon spot. Yeah. But I think that they be fronting on me because, you know, he got that good hair and I ain't got none. So, uh, I'm just saying, Don Lemon, I'm coming for you. In the meantime, tomorrow, make sure you got your raincoat, your umbrella, and put your galoshes on. Just be ready for anything these days because it's coming down, I hear y'all. It's coming down like, like, ain't raining like nobody's business. So, just be, just be warned. I gave you the prognostication for the weather for the rest of the week. It's going to be precipitation, 
precipitation, precipitation the whole rest of the week, y'all. It's just gonna be just a bad time to stay. If you got some vacation time, stay home and clean your house because you'll be better off. This sucks. All right, back to y'all side studio. Good. It's raining. I know, right? Goodness. Yeah, about that weather man, he, he just stays upset no matter what we do. There's nothing we can say to him to make him happy. I don't know what this beef is he has with Don Lemon. He was fronting on Al Roker a couple weeks ago. I think, and we're afraid to do anything about it because, you know, he might go postal or something. But that's why we just let him do his thing. We're going to get him back inside one of these days. But, you know, he's going to have to work that out. We're going to have to send him some anger management or something. But, uh it's crazy. It's a crazy year, y'all. It's been very, uh, very challenging. But I'm glad you're still here on Grind City TV Network Roku right here because, man, we are growing and growing and growing. And you guys are a big part of that. Uh, speaking of growing, the very first Grind City TV studio open mic is coming May the 15th. That's right. It's going to be streaming live right here in Grind City. So you're going to have to check us out then. And yours truly has been chosen to host the open mic event, and I'm looking forward to that, y'all. I'm ready to go out this week and get my, my new gear together for that. I'm going to have something fly. I don't know what, y'all, but you know how we do it over here in Chaz Wins. It's going to be definitely be something pimpalicious. So um, <laughs> it's, I'm sure it'll make somebody shriek, but that's how we do it. Uh, and so, again, I'm ever, ever so humbled to, uh, to be a part of this organization and be plugged in to wherever I'm needed. Um, you know, that's all about doing what it takes, putting people on. You can get on. Remember, check me out, Chaz Wins. Gmail, chancewins38 at gmail.com is my Gmail. Um, you got any questions, commentary, I would love to hear from you guys. So remember, reach out. Uh, and I got, you know, we're growing. We got people behind the scenes. I'm also so happy that my daughter's back from college from Temple U. She's representing behind the camera, studying film and everything else. <clears throat> so uh, welcome home, Chazzy. I don't know if you want to wave to the people or not, you know. <laughs> she you ain't trying to be in front of the camera? Not uh, at the moment. Okay, all right. Well, you know, we got people now. So I, I let them roaches go that was working the camera a couple of months ago because that's what we was down to. We just had, like, anybody that had a pulse, come on and help me out. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. But I, I also just wanted to, uh, again, say happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there, the ones that are not here. We wish you a happy Mother's Day, heavenly happy Mother's Day. Uh, and remember, mothers are the ones that or there for us with the understanding that no one else does. So, um, you know, I've just had to talk to all the moms out there holding it down. Thank you so much. Um, and other than that, yeah, watch out for them rockets. We got spaceships going up, rockets are falling down. And it, it's crazy because, like, just as if 2021 couldn't get any worse, we got to watch out for rockets. So you never know, just to be rock, rockets falling out of the sky. <laughs> They're made in China. <laughs> so... Not the best quality rockets, just be careful, because you never know what's going to happen. I don't know, y'all. Be safe out there, okay? And, oh, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> what is that? The rockets are yeah. ringing. Oh, yeah. oh, damn. Lord, you the wheel. <laughs> Mama, I don't know what to do. Okay, cool. I started again. No, that's cool. That's good okay. for that. Yeah, that's so that's that's simple. That was about six. Can you move this way? To make sure the glare isn't too bad. Uh No, you're good. Rolling. Uh, 
Yeah. No, you're good. Are you ready? You had or no hat? The hat looks good. Oh, we're fine. Is that too bright? Oh, she's. Well. Let's see. You think it? Do you want to be in the middle or? Yeah, I'm middle. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Yep, that's centered. Okay. Looks good. Rolling. Wait one second. Rolling. Can you see this arm at all? No. No, so, you can't. Does that like I pulled it from way down here? <laughs> you see it on my lap? <laughs> okay. You can see it. <clears throat> So, welcome back to, uh, yep, that one happens because you don't want to stop it. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Rolling. Hey, just like anything else in the world, it takes money to stay on t on TV. So, uh, we have a sponsor here at Chaz Wins, and that sounds cheesy as heck, but... <laughs> You know, just like anything at little... <laughs> Stop making me laugh. <laughs> so, just like everything in life, the Chaz Wentz Show relies on donations and sponsorships. So, I'm pleased to announce one of our sponsors, uh, Queen of Coma Designs. They specialize in handcrafted products that promote peace, spirituality, and healing of the soul. That's right. <laughs> So I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, folks! Just like anything else in life, it takes money to make things happen around here. Since you know this is an independent show, we rely on uh, we open donations, so uh, and sponsorships. One of our uh, premier sponsors is Queen Acoma Designs, who specialize in handmade products that promote peace, spirituality, and healing of the soul. Uh, you can visit Queen Acoma Designs on Etsy. We have the Princess, nope, nope, <laughs> this don't make sense. <laughs> so here we have the Princess Goddess Oye, and here is the Queen Akoma Goddess Oye. Those darn birds, make sure you can see the rain. I like it. What's next? Oh, did you stop? Yes, Okay. Cool. I started again. No, that's cool. That's good okay. for that. Yeah, that's so that's pyramid. So there's two sizes: Queen Cobra and Princess. This is the small one. Queen Cobra is the big one. Oh God! Still rolling, Jamie. See what I mean? See how that? See how those? Uh, I always like to. I'm so happy you did not fall. I wasn't falling. And if you did, I would ask so you. Somebody's at the door. I would have asked. <laughs> oh my God! These kids laugh at me every time I fall. Was like that my Instacart? It was. <laughs> this song reminds me of, uh, this came out in 90, 1991, and I was overseas in Puerto Rico, stationed over there, and uh, when we were off duty, my friends had this jeep, and we just ride around the beach just blasting this song. Oh yeah? <laughs> so I drove on the beach, so. That's all. But yeah, I'll get those clips from you afterward, and we'll just, uh, I'll plug those in, like, if you want, you know. Oh, no, it's up to you, it's your show. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm experimenting and, and rolling, like, pushing the boundaries all the time, so. We'll mm -hmm. start off with just me being foolish all the time. It's like, hey, you wanna get on TV with that? I'm like, sure. So, I'm just rolling, so whenever she has, he's ready. Okay. Well, I, need, I need the official, we're rolling. Oh, yeah, Nobody's busy, so. Just be, just be warned, I gave you the prognostication for the weather for the rest of the week. It's going to be precipitation, 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 the whole rest of the week, y'all. It's just going to be just a bad time to stay. If you got some vacation time, stay home and clean your house because you'll be better off. That simple. That was about six. All right, back to y'all side studio. This sucks. <laughs>